One, two, one, two, three. Okay, welcome to the pit. Uh, actually, this is going to be my first episode of Luxglog. Or, uh, Lux Gaming Blog. Glog. Glog Blog. Um, but basically, uh, I don't want to do Let's Plays, and I don't know how to do editing. I mean, I could learn, but it's, like, not a priority. I have other things. I, I just like playing games. So I figured, uh, uh, but I also kind of wanted to do a blog. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blog playing the game. I mean, I might talk about the game, but eh, who cares? So, what time is it? Um, it's uh, 6 o'clock on April 7th. Uh, uh, this is uh, mountain time. I'm in Alberta. We got lots of cool stuff over here. Uh, not at the moment, but uh, in general, yeah. Okay, so I'm playing uh, the pit. Uh, looking for food. Found bullets. That's good. I have a level up, but it's typically good to uh, store level ups so you can use them for healing. Because you get a full heal when you actually use your level up. But uh, on these first floors, it doesn't really matter. Um, so what have I been doing? I uh, recently started collecting Warhammer uh, um, Horus Heresy. I started with Betrayal at Calf, and the models are really, really, really cool. So I, um, oops, dropped $700 on Forge World. Uh, got myself a nice Fire Raptor, Spartan, and because I like the Salamanders, Cassian Draco, his uh, firearms, Fire Drakes, Pyroclasts, uh, another Fire Raptor, paint, uh, transfer sheets. Uh, but anyway, yes, uh, I'm sure I'll paint them someday. I, I got my first squad uh, done. I just need to think of what to do with the bases, and, uh, uh, oh, I gained a second level. Uh, oh, well, I'll just use it. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna just dump all my points into might, because that's the only stat that apparently actually matters. TK, empathy, there, okay. Anyway, yeah, uh, Warhammer, um, where's my gun? There we go. Um, yeah, I play as Salamanders. I like the green and gold, and not because of the Eskimos, either. Uh, trying to play for a 1,500-point army uh, so I can play against my cousin, and he plays uh, Imperial Fists. Nice, uh, shiny, yellow legionaries. So yeah, we both have Betrayal at Cal, and uh, he's painting his uh, Contemptor, and he named his Contemptor Prometheus. Which is, you know, a fire guy, which seems like it would go with the salamanders. But uh, I named my uh, contemptor uh, Odinathus, which kind of is more of an imperial fist name. So, uh, eh, it's just one of those things. Um, so, let's see. Got some... I'm trying to uh, lose some weight. Like... Um, uh, a uh, I think maybe two years ago, uh, I was quite a bit overweight, and I worked really, really, really hard, and I lost, like, a hundred pounds in a year, and I was like, yeah, and then, uh, last summer, so the summer of 2015, I started having, uh, panic attacks, and, uh, that was, like, I don't suffer from, like, I have schizoid personality disorder, so when I'm around people, I just withdraw, but I didn't have anxiety. Like, I mean, unless you count withdrawing into yourself as anxiety, but I didn't have what most people, I didn't have the symptoms of anxiety, and but I started having panic attacks, so I thought, now, the very first time it happened, I thought I was having a heart attack, but uh, I wasn't, it was a panic attack, and... Uh, after that settled down, um, it, ha 
Oh fuck, this guy stole my shit. Okay, uh, it happened again. So I got on some medication, uh, FXer, and I'm doing really well. But um, I haven't exercised uh, since last summer. And in combination with, fuck, in combination with uh, Effexor causing weight gain, well, it's a side effect, so I, I can't singularly blame it, I'm just saying. It may be a contributing factor. I uh, regained 80 of those pounds, so I'm a big fat tubbo today. But I'm back on the exercise track, and uh, I went for a walk today. Unfortunately, it was a walk to the store to get a Slurpee, but, uh, eh, I need to get some fresh air, and I need to get around people to, um, trigger alarms. Uh, um, never mind. Um, so yeah, I got my Warhammer. It's fun. Uh, I want to get my Cassian Draco, who is the coolest unit. He has Sunder, which, uh, if you're, if, if you are a 40k player, that rule doesn't exist. But basically, it's re-roll armor penetration. So basically, it's melt a rule that doesn't count as the melt a rule and works on everything. And not only that, uh, he's uh, Cassian Draco's outright immune to any effect that alters his armor rolls. So you can't hit him with melta. Um, well, okay, you can hit him with the melta button, but uh, uh, melta as a rule would not re-roll. Uh, Sunder, as a rule, would not re-roll. He can't be yeah. hit with acid. Or anything that would affect his AV doesn't touch him. Uh, which is really, really awesome. So he's my... Uh, I don't even... He's my vanguard. He, he goes up in the front. But uh, Salamander's really, really slow. Um, their main penalty being that uh, they don't... Uh, they have one inch less charging distance, so they're they're slow. But uh, because I'm using a Spartan and uh, mostly vehicles, uh, I'm not penalized by that because I don't need to be making charges. The other penalty about uh, sweeping advances doesn't really apply because I'm using very very few uh, troops. Which uh, is actually kind of a problem, because if, like, some grav or poison ground covers an objective, I won't be able to uh, camp men in it to uh, get OBSEC. But, uh, eh. Oops, shit. I shouldn't have... Um, well, let's go. Ooh, message. Yes. Oh, never mind. I accidentally deleted uh, from my log a few messages. And, okay, in this game, you want to get messages uh, because they teach you the recipes. And uh, I think they're up to like 400 messages now. Because um, the Medic expansion just came out. I should be playing Medic just because it's new. But uh, anyway... Um, Oh, yeah, okay, I trigger the alarm just as an enemy sneaks up behind me, and also just as a door across opens. Okay, so if there's any machines on the floor, they're going to be rushing this room, and while they're aggravated, if they get, I think, within 10 tiles of you, their sensors will lock on on top of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest over here and hope that they didn't lock on, and if they didn't, I'll sneak on past them. Anyway, so while I'm resting, I um, guess I'll have some OJ here. So yeah, my main army is based almost entirely around uh, basically an elite uh, alpha strike. Because I have the Praetor, Fire Drakes, a huge Praetor Fire Drake contingent uh, in the Spartan, on the Spartan being pushed around and nothing but the fire raptor uh, providing cover support but the fire raptor has a hell of a lot of guns if you get some if you get like some critical rolls that thing can take out uh, armies by itself because it's just pew, pew 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 I think it gets like 40 hits 
Well, probably not. Uh, I haven't actually looked at the sheet because it didn't come with a sheet. So all I know is it has uh, a front turret and two side turrets that are allowed to have independent fire. But that's about it. I don't have a rule sheet for the uh, the uh, the Spartan and the Fire Raptor didn't come with rules. So and I don't have a 30k codex uh, for Horus Heresy. I just have Betrayal at Kalth for rules. So. I basically have to go with what Battle Scribe tells me. And I don't have that open off the top of my head. I can't tell you what it actually shoots. All I know is it has two really, really cool cannons on the side. Um, so I, I, that's still, <laughs> yeah, when I ordered the thing, cause it was a big, giant, huge order from Forge World. I was, during their, uh, uh, win a Titan contest, which was last month. I'm really, really hoping that I win the contest uh, because, uh, or my cousin, because uh, that those Titans are really, really, really cool. But they're also really, really expensive. They're like 1,100 pounds, which is like in Canadian money. That's like 2,500 dollars. Uh, so, like, I really, really want it. But if I don't win it, I mean, I got all that Forge World stuff. I got my Spartan. It was basically the justification to make the order, because I've been eyeballing them for a while. But, uh, well, I already triggered the alarm, so I guess there's no harm in triggering it a second time. Uh, I'm close enough to a level up. Oops. Uh, I'm close enough to a level up that I don't need rest. I'll eat some... Some pink, though. There you go. Okay. Come on. Oh, when did I, uh... Skill points. I must... Oh, yeah, I guess I just didn't use them. So, uh, yeah, I got my army. First squad. Uh, like, it came with Calf, so it is technically, uh... Uh... Space Marine veterans. But I'm gonna be using them as, uh, tacticals. So the only the only real difference is I don't uh, I don't put red stripes on their helmets. Well, that was a bunch of wasted ammo. Uh, I don't know what to do with bases, so uh, I have a couple of ideas. Uh, my first idea is to use either modeling putty or just uh, some very, very small beads to make a rough, grainy terrain, and then layer that on a pieces of cork. Uh, but I don't know what design I want, because okay, I'm salamander, so the obvious design would be volcano or desert. Because a lot of people forget that uh, Planet Nocturne has a huge desert, where they do the Walk of Fire. Uh, and I like desert stuff. Desert stuff's cool. So I might do a desert theme, but desert bases are kind of just bleh. I don't know how to make a creative desert base that looks awesome. Uh, the other option I came up with is... Uh, um, oh, what's the name of their city? I think it's Heliod or I Hesiod or Heliod. I don't remember. Uh, but I bought a, uh, a crystal garden, magical crystal growing, uh, growing kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow these crystals. And if they look good, I'm going to actually grow them up and around the marines. Uh, which is going to be a very, very unique look, which has the potential to look really, really, really stupid, but, uh, it might be, might be good. Okay. Um, so, uh, I was reading the instructions on the Crystal Garden Magical Crystal, and, okay, so it comes with some partially toxic chemicals. It's very much a keep out of reach of children uh, craft project. Uh, but in the bottom right corner, 
what I assume they meant to say is keep your poison control center number handy in case of accidental ingestion. But what it actually says is write in the box the telephone number of your nearest position control center. That can be reached in an emergency. Well, if I am in an emergency, I definitely would want to know what position I'm in. So, uh, well, yeah, that's a thing. I put it on Reddit, so it's it's there. Uh, so let's see. Uh, antibiotics, one cooked meat. Uh, I would have wanted to get more out of that. I hear something squ squishing around. I probably should talk about the game a little. But, uh, yeah, this is relative. Uh, this is a relatively old game. I mean, I think it's been out for four years. Um, but the uh, Medic uh, DLC just came out, and it's going to be the last uh, DLC for this game. They might only do one or two more bug fix patches, or, a j or, or balance patches related to the Medic. But other than that... Uh, this this game is done. They're working on their next... What's with all the traps today? Jeez. They're working on their next game. Uh, which is gonna be probably cool. Probably dumb, though. It's no offense to the devs, but... Uh, the first... The, the sort of the Stars games, the original ones there, was just kind of... Okay, they just weren't my bag. Um, but I like roguelikes of any kind. So that's why I started this. Of course, why I still play it after wasting so much time. And I don't mean wasting as in, like, I'm just sitting here and bored out of my mind or anything. I mean wasted as in, like, I think I have 100 hours of me just, like, punching air on the first floor to get skill ups. That kind of stuff is a waste of time. Um, but anyway, the main reason I still play this instead of... Uh, other roguelikes uh, is uh, uh, okay. I'm pretty big on uh, A stats, which is a site that gives you fake achievement points for Steam games based on their rarity or difficulty. And I'm like 14th because I maxed out Tales of Magial, so like that's one game, and it just freakishly bumped my. Why does everything in this game have to explode? Uh, anyway, uh, it, it definitely boosted my score somewhat artificially, but I really like that game. But I'm mostly maxed it out. The only ones I'm missing are a few holiday achievements, and like a uh, Pikachu that I don't know how to get. Um, that's, that's the upstairs. So, um, yeah, I'm playing this mostly for the points, and a few of the medic-related achievements uh, because Medic is new, and a lot of people have moved away from the game, uh, the Medic-related achievements are worth a lot more points than, uh, because points are based on not just the rarity of the achievement, but it has to be multiplied by the, uh, the player base. So this game had a huge player base. So achievements from new expansions have a lot more points than uh, compared to. And that's one of the reasons that uh, Tales of Magial has uh, such a huge number of achievement points. Because not only does that game uh, have like a thousand achievements, uh, no it's bleed. because of uh, all the duplicate achievements for different difficulties. Uh. Um... So, somebody can turn the game on and enjoy uh, Tales of Magial, not, not even beat the game, on normal, or easy. What I forgot if easy was actually called easy, but uh, you can enjoy the game and not worry about achievements and stuff, and then quit, but that makes you a player played, which gives everybody else who cares about A stats more points, because the player base is higher. 
So the best games to get points is games that have a huge player base that nobody is playing. And this sort of the stars of the pit happens to fit that uh, perfectly because it was huge for a while. Uh, Total Biscuit did a video on it. Uh, and then it dropped off. But, and then some expansions came out. And then interest came back. Somebody else did a video. I don't remember who it was. When did I get a thorts? I don't even know what that is. Hiver dual barrel unload. Um, so the medic just came out. So the achievements that are just medic related are worth a lot more points. Uh, what's the other game that did that? Um, I think it was uh, I Divine Cybermancy, actually. Um, it was they. Oh, I'm about to die. Ah, there we go. Uh, they didn't have DLC per se, but uh, uh, long, long into the game's life, they added new achievements. So uh, even though everybody. The, the player base had all the uh, achievements from the old game. Well, I mean the same game, but I mean like from launch or whenever they were interested in the game. But they didn't come back to get the new ones. So anybody who has the new ones got a lot more points. But basically that's how that site works. I'm addicted. I want to play Fallen Earth, but I don't have anybody to play with. Uh, I don't want to play Champions Online, although the hundreds of hours I put into this game that I spent idling, I probably could have done some Champions Online stuff, but I don't want to play that. Um, but Fallen Earth is cool. And the other one, the other big one, Tales of Martial is the number one. But, uh, what? Okay, I gotta, I gotta stomp for a second to explain this. But yeah, I'll just follow it up. Okay, Ta Tales of Martial is number one. The other one's Guns of Icarus Online. Those, those are the big ones that I want to play, but I'm playing this. Anyway, I have to point this out. This little elfy dude, these guys are very, very rare. But they also have, like, like which one? I'll just show you. It's a, it's a hop, Hopkinite. So, uh, got this log. Uh, do I have a Hop? Yeah, there it is. It has, like, 150 armor. But it's also 230 base experience. But, yeah, that much armor can't easily break that. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna clear out the room so that I can find this guy. Kind of a waste of assault rounds, but uh I need to seal the room before you get hit by the confusion beam. Ah, I got hit. Come come back. There we go. Now I can. Uh... Oh, I don't want to use a. Ma I don't want to use my. Uh... So I can just. This guy's gonna probably beat me, but I didn't want him to get reinforcements. With uh, the amount of armor he has, I don't think I can even fight him. I might use a grenade. Actually, what's the arc on this? Do I? Uh, my pistol. Fifty. Fifty. Sixty. 60 is my best penetration. Um, Alright, what's the penetration on? So 80, 80, 120 on the frag grenade. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get away from them. I'm gonna use the frag grenades because they have the best penetration. And hope for the best. I don't want to destroy the cookers. Nine damage. I think I hit myself. I wasn't paying attention. One damage. Yeah, one damage. Okay, where's my other grenades? All the grenades. They don't have a lot of HP, but uh, uh, their armor is so high that it's not much to do. There we go. 835 experience with all the bonuses on there. 
probably not worth it. But those guys are very, very, very rare, and finding one on floor 7 is just stupid. They shouldn't be down here. Right. Let's see, what do I want? Bacon and eggs. I... Oh, I thought it was lit up. It's not lit up. Right, I want... Um... I don't need amino goop. I want an antibiotic. Good. And now I just want to single make meat in order to skill up biotech. Uh, oh, I died. Well, anyway, that's the end of my first uh, blocks glog. Uh, gaming blog glog. Fuck. <laughs>